Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Foxborough High School, Sam Burns Field for a MIAA Division III round of 32 playoff game between the Foxborough Warriors, seated number 19, who just took a sh uh, I'm sorry, the Holliston Panthers, who are seated 19, and the home Foxborough Warriors were seated 14th. We just had a quick shot by Foxborough, Connor Noon that went left. My name is Donnie Carter. I'm joined today by Carter Daly. Hi. How you doing, Carter? I'm doing good. We're excited to watch a good lacrosse game as we see with the ball. Number 22, the return of Lincoln Moore, last year's underclassman of the year who missed the whole season with an injury, returned to the Warriors playoff debut against the Holliston Tigers. The Warriors coming in at 7-11 and as they are trying to get a run going as they enter the postseason. But they are also playing a losing record team as well, the 8 and 10 Holliston Panthers. So here's Tony Sullum with the ball. As you mentioned, we got uh, Lincoln Moore. So Lincoln Moore, John Sacchetti, and Connor Noon at attack. And our midi line right now is Con uh, Ryan Carter, Ian Foley, and Tony Sullum. As Carter's going to drive, ball out, picked up by number six for the Panthers, Benjamin. I was not pronouncing that correctly <laughs> at first. So Holliston loses it, and good job by Finn Stapleton to get it back. Foxborough's got a chance at a fast break here. They have numbers, but Carter will just get a touch and settle things. Sullivan's going to hop out, and in comes Cam Dulesky, who's going to get the touch right now. He's going to fling it over to Moore. Lincoln Moore, shocking. I, was not ex I did not hear anything about him playing today. I walk into the parking lot, and I see him grabbing his stick, and I say, oh. There goes Sacchetti. He scores. scores! John Sacchetti with the first goal for the Warriors. His parents just walked, his mom just walked in too. What are the odds? As we're gonna see the replay from Sacchetti, he makes a kid fall 13. Someone gets a Swiffer. He's gonna take a shot on the crease in the air. Bang! Warriors so, lead 1 0. I think um, Sacchetti's gonna be one of the beneficiaries of, of Moore coming back. Um, you know, that, that, that attack line now. Um, is is the same attack line that they had the whole season pretty much last year. So, Sullivan on the draw wins it, huge. Two for two yeah. on faceoffs today. As Sullivan's gonna run out, and Dolesky's gonna come back in. So we got he's gonna fling it to Sacchetti, who we already mentioned. Will who already has a goal today. Yeah. Good job right now, Foxborough. Um, some of the games this year with faceoffs, they they faced some. Fogo guys, face off, get off, and um, Tony's in as, as well as Cam Dulesky and, and a few times Ian Foley have done a really good job battling, but we Cam, don't have. Aiden a, Waller funds up to Foley. We don't have a Fogo, so our guys that play a lot of minutes have to play and also take face off, so Tony's doing a good job, like you said, two for two on face offs. Lincoln Moore is commanding the exposition as he's going to give it over to Sacchetti, who's going to do a little fake spin. Actually spins on 13 to Lincoln. Yes. Good be by uh, that number 28, David Villa. He's trying to get as much separation from the defender as possible. That's my big concern coming into this game. I want to see how much Lincoln is going to be a factor as we see him starting. We weren't expecting to see him starting. Sure. I mean, he, he has worked tirelessly. I mean, he's been going to workouts and physical therapy almost daily since uh, he had his knee surgery. So it's just great to see a kid persevere and fight through. And, and uh, Stileski's going to drive Stileski. and score. He scores. Warriors off to a hot start, not even four minutes in. 2-0 command, 2-0 lead. The Tigers, a great the Panthers have Lesky. not really had an opening possession yet for themselves. Lesky does a good job staying low by the defender. Bink. Great low shot, bottom left corner. Good job. You know, Foxborough is a team that um, seems to thrive when they're ahead. One thing to note today, Con uh, Carter, is um, because of the temperature, we will have uh, anything over, any game over 90 degrees, there will be stoppage in play for water breaks. There will not be timeouts charged to anybody. 
So I believe the trainer on the sideline is keeping track of that. But um, I didn't know that was a rule. Yeah. As we're going to see number 23 from the Panthers. Jack McGelliot. Some of these names are, I, I copied and pasted this from their, uh, from their roster. He's going to fling over there. I think that 17, Michael Gonzalez. 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 Sorry. As Nobody can Jack McElliot, 23. Number 19 is Alex Roby for Holliston. As he's eyeing him as he's trying, but McElliot is just gonna stay up top. He's gonna drive down, flings it, saved, saved by, by a dash. dash. First save of the day, great job. Good defense by Foxborough there, keeping Holliston out to the outside and letting Adam get a good look at that one. So Foley, gonna bring it all the way down to the 30. He's gonna back up a little, gonna fling it down, the fling it up to Carter. Yeah, so you're gonna see a lot of subbing at the midi line today, Carter. These middies probably run five or six miles. Uh, and free, free and Foley, that's just a, it's just a normal day. <laughs> yeah. It is, it, but when it's 90, it, it's 90 air temperature, and uh, it's got to be close to 100 degrees. I think the trainer Amy had a had a has a uh, thermometer thermometer out in the field. So I was down there before the field getting some waters for the boys, and it's a it's a hot it's one. Hot, yeah. That, that that black turf underneath heats up very fast. The one thing I am getting a little nervous about is that. According to my weather app, we should be experiencing thunderstorms tonight here in Fox, but I don't know if that's going to affect the game. Aiden Waller, shot. great oh, shot. God. Good save by the goalie there. Number 33, Sean McLeod. Oh, a big hit, and someone's down. No flag. We pushed them. Nothing. I missed that I play trying to find the, I was 33. looking at the play sheet, too. Maybe there's a chance we get a replay later as they're gonna Tony Selham trying to find someone can't ball out Waller's in there Waller in right. Waller looked around couldn't right, couldn't so see where the ball went it's gonna fling it up Jack McElliot loses it great back McCabe enters the game as Stapleton's gonna run up the field all right so Coach Noon does a good job does a good job by. Um, I don't know who, I think maybe Sullivan stick checked on that one. I think so. And then, uh, good. We're going to see the, we're going to see a replay. And then here, right, here's, so here's get. Lincoln Moore's hit stick. Yeah. And he, boom. That Queen was. play. I think this is Lincoln's first game since Thanksgiving, so he might still think he's in football season. <laughs> Kellen, so, uh, that, 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 Player for Holliston was number 31, Kellen Beats. So Holliston plays in the um, in the Tri Valley League, and um, like you said earlier, they're eight and ten. Foxborough's had um, several common opponents with um, with Holliston. They hadn't they hadn't played during the regular season. Uh, both teams played Hopkinton. Um, Holliston lost to Hopkinton. Foxborough beat Hopkinton. Um, Sharon. And Holliston also played. Sharon beat Foxborough, and they also beat Holliston. So um, I believe there was another Medway. Foxborough beat Medway, and I think Holliston beat Medway twice. So um, pretty. So we have some fans in the stands. Some fans in the stands. The Cotter family there. Where, where, where's Donnie Cotter? <laughs> Up a little bit higher. So we got a. A little bit of a sparse crowd to start. I think um, people will start filling in. We were supposed to have a double header today with the girls playing their round of 32 game. However, their opponent decided to not make the trip and forfeit the game. So the girls will Stunt. automatically go into the round of 16. They'll be home for that game as they're the sixth seed in Division Three for the for the girls. Um, so the team they were playing was Pope Francis and they were supposed to come here from Springfield so I guess they opted to to not come I I was stunned my friend was talking about it. he told me to keep it a secret and then two minutes later it was posted on the Twitter so <laughs> he did a great job keeping that one safe my understanding of that Connor is that that team will, will now be even if they qualify for the tournament next year they will be suspended from it from the, t from the uh, 
right from the right tournament. Down. So yeah, that's right unfortunate. Right. Let's just hope they don't have a renaissance here next year. So here goes Connor Noon. Noon on 24. He's going to do a little spin. He puts it in. Another goal. Connor Noon, number three, puts in the Warriors' third goal of the game. 5-18 to go in the first. Warriors lead 3-0. I believe that was number 20. 24, Bobby Frasinelli that was on the Yes. Yep. You're going to see Noon do a little one of his spins. And spin. so that Tries to spin, spins there, under. Number, what you? number 15, Kevin Sahagian. A little put, late on the uh, on the slide towards Noon, and Noon had the space. Fight for the face off. Zaleski doing a good job battling. Ball is in the possession of Sullivan uh, and 22, Harrison Smith. Sullivan's got it. Sullivan wins He's the running down the sideline. He's got to get He gets he loses it. Good job, Jack. Good battle. He may have gotten hit in the head. I don't think they called it. As there's a fight for the ball. Good job by Paulson there, number 22. Ooh, Lincoln's going to give him some pressure. Smith. Back to the goalie, Sean McLeod. So, noon with the hit. We can't get it. Bobby Frasnelli is a defender, so he's going to have to get back. I don't know if Holliston got a touch yet. Ian Williamson, I noticed, has entered the game. He's trying to find a man to guard. Jay Jean and James Gaffney Good get job pressure. Good Gaffney. D Twig. D Twig. There goes. Up the field. One of the many, one of the few players in the Good job Fox Bear with a knee brace, James Gaffney. Gaffney, great job by Gaffney, just scooping it and getting it into the offensive end. Sullivan's going to sub off. So Foxborough just really, uh, Carter, with Connor New at the X position here, has just really kind of been picking some one-on-one -on -one battles. And they've won three of them In so there. far. They're going to take a shot. Noon it was. It looked too easy. 4 nothing lead for the Warriors. Sacchetti with his second of the day and Noon with his first assist. So really Noon with an assist and a goal. So Noon does a great job rolling from X. Kind of beats his man. The defender has to step and help, which leaves Sacchetti wide open. He just dinks it. Nice. The goalie had no chance on that. That's a tough spot for the goalie to be put in right on the doorstep. Great start for the Warriors. 4 0, 353 left in the first period. The one thing I thought about walking in today was how much I was, I wondered how many kids are going to be on the Hollison team, and on, honestly enough, they look very similar in size, yeah. which I think gives us an advantage because we have a smaller team compared to years prior. And I was getting nervous, like when because odds are more players going to have more people to put in, so especially right. in the hot weather we're here, especially on that turf. Yeah. So that's the thing is, you know, when we play in the Hawkmock League, we're the only Division Three team in the Hawk. Um, and then when you get into the playoffs, you play in towns in, in schools that are of similar size. So um, if Foxborough, you know, is going to be, that's one of the reasons why they have such a high ranking with a, with a 7 and 11 record because the, the teams that they played, the Franklins, the Mansfields, the Sharon's all the yeah. I mean, a lot of these towns are are quite big. Their enrollment is quite big, and Foxborough is by far the smallest team in the Hockamock League, which is what that division has to do with. A lot of these divisions are based off school size, so it kind of looks like, hey, this team's only D3, but they have a lot of talented players. It's, they're gonna pass the Lincoln so down. Moore. Lincoln picks it up Scoop. for the In first score. goal of the season. <laughs> Lincoln Moore. Oh my gosh, he's excited. The whole team saying hi to him. Gives a little hug from Sacchetti. Noon's smiling. Lincoln's happy. He points to someone. I don't know who right. that was. Lincoln Moore. I got to write him in because I didn't have him on the roster. Should I see the replay <laughs> of Lincoln's first goal of the season? Look, shows a little bit of rust with that drop, but says, mm, second time's the charm. As backhanded almost. Wow. Dinks it in. Lincoln Moore, so first Fox, goal of the season. Bachbro is cooking here. 2.35 left in the first and quarter. Balls, uh, balls up. It's going to go to number six, Benjamin Bosch. As he's Delesky going to down. run down. Delesky's he's giving him pressure. It. Ball down. Jay Gene. Gene trying to kick it out. Ball still down. No one wants it. Just kidding. 32 wants it. Never mind. Puts it down again. Cotter's got it. Gives it to a dash. Wow. All right. Well, Foxborough. 
Does a good job of getting a loose ball there. And Adam Adesh gonna launch one. Sullivan makes the catch to the 40. Sullivan trying to find an outlet. Deeks inside, number six. Bosch can't hold on. Can't fight with him. So Cotter. Get touch. I get it. And they'll reset here. Comes yeah, so McCabe. Give it to Mikey McCabe. A little bit of burst and speed, but even with a small stature, adds a lot to this warrior rotation. So the one of the one of the benefits obviously of having Lincoln Moore his talent is undeniable but it, what it also does is it extends the midi lines right so you got a kid like McCabe and kids like Waller who have played attack they can now get into the mix in the in the midi line which makes more depth for the for the Warriors here comes Sacchetti on a run Bang! and a score a hat trick a celly and some hugs a John hat trick. Sacchetti with a hat trick with a minute 21 left in the first period. Not not many times you see a first quarter hat trick, especially in playoff lacrosse. But Sacchetti almost makes it look too easy. Makes him spin, just says, huh, have fun throwing your stick. I'll throw this ball here. Bang. <laughs> Rallies the troops. I got to say, Carter, the Warriors seem to be playing with much more confidence today than we've seen them play in a long time. How much of that do you think has to do with having Lincoln Moore back? I was just going to say that is a shot in the arm, you know, to them. He brings a talent level, a physicality Jack level. Sullivan good to job Foley. Foley. Backing up Sullivan. Sullivan's been doing a really good job. Jack has battling and uh, getting getting his, his uh, nose in there on some loose balls. So Ian's got to get a touch. It he only does. took 10 minutes, but Lincoln in 10 minutes of play has already tied Jack's Season high in goals. <laughs> I think he's probably going to hold that over for a little bit. <laughs> now that I mention it. He may pass him today. I, I, sad, I hope not. And I hope Jack can get a couple goals and Lincoln can get a couple goals. So Dulesky, who's also done a really good job on the faceoff dot, subs out for Cotter. So we got Cotter, Foley, Sullum, midi line, and attack line of the same group. The one Eddie, Noon, and Moore. One thing you mentioned earlier is that the midi line gets extended with the addition of Lincoln Moore. But not only that, is speaking of the devil, Lincoln drops it. That's all right. I can make fun of him not forever. <laughs> hey, but you know, you had said there's, there's definitely going to be some rust, right? Lincoln hasn't played in a game since the Division Three quarterfinals and Drake it last year, which was basically a year ago. Yes. And number 28. And he well, hasn't really played actual sport since Thanksgiving, this past Thanksgiving. And I think you're kind of going to see that because you're going to see more physical play as we have eight seconds left. Warriors are leading 6 nothing over the Holliston Panthers. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say Solom is just going to make a run here. And he's probably going to take a shot because that's what he does. And he's going to take the shot. Ooh, no good. good save. 6 nothing. Warriors lead over the Holliston Panthers. Lincoln Moore nets his first of the season. Sacchetti nets three in the first 12 minutes of play. Of course, Noon puts in a goal, and Kandoleski also netted one earlier. As we are, as the Warriors are gonna take a well-earned water break. First quarter, how do you like it? I like it a lot. <laughs> so, you know, we actually got on the air as, the, as play was getting started, so we didn't really get to talk too much about the play of the Warriors coming in, but um, six nothing, lead is is big all you need to see all you need to hear and um they're coming in with a five game losing streak um they lost to franklin fian sharon oliver ames and i'm missing one but they had a rough end of the season um i think sandwich, sandwich was right and in all those i mean sandwiches those, one of the top those teams east in coast there. teams are very very good one of their one of the top teams in the state and um the, the, every single one of those games was uh, was was a battle. I will say that I went to the sandwich game, and it seemed like even though Foxborough lost, it seemed like they started to play, turn the corner, play a little bit better, a little bit more together, a little bit more cohesive. And as you mentioned That's earlier, hey, it is section. the girls' team. Most of the girls' team. They uh, would be getting ready to play a game today, but instead, uh, I think they're gonna have practice, which is a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> Much rather play a game than practice, right? I mean, maybe it would have been practice anyway. Who knows? Yeah. So I'm looking out over, um, it's, it's tournament time. So the, the girls' tennis team, adjacent to the uh, 
to the field here is playing Wilmington that was supposed to start at 3.30, but taking a bus from Wilmington, um, that's a tough, tough, tough road. Probably took them an hour and a half, two hours to get here. So I think um, they're going to 95. And yeah, so what we're seeing right now is this is an extended break, Carter, between periods, yes. between quarters to get the, get the water. Um, mm. So... Holliston does not really want it. They're going to, all their players are going to stand on the field already trying to game plan on how to dig themselves out of this hole. Personally, I hope they don't dig themselves out of the hole. <laughs> I hope the hole gets deeper. But, but one of the things that's super important for both teams today is to stay hydrated. It's, it's dangerously hot on the field. Um, they're doing this purposefully so that the kids can get hydrated. Um, I bet you in the second half we'll see some kids starting to cramp up just because it's almost impossible to hydrate at the level that you need to when it's, you know, this sunny close. and 100 degrees on the field. So um, I think the tents that each team has, ha has right now are going to be a huge factor to get some yep. good shade because on this field you don't really have a good amount of shade. It's very, very sunny on the field. Yep. So Benjamin Bosch is at the face-off dot with Cam Dulesky. Sam Dulesky. And then we got uh, Jack Sullivan and Ryan Cotter on the wings. So Foxborough and Halston kick off the second quarter here, and Bosch wins the wins it. They get a fast break opportunity here. And drops it. Ball down. Picked up by number 32, uh, Pierce. I think. Pierce Duncan. I'm sure it is Duncan Pierce. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're wide open Dash in the out middle. Of the net, takes the shot, no good. And they're going to give it. To Holliston. I thought the Lesky may have maybe gotten there. It was close, yeah. It was. Robert Colley, number five for Holliston, was, was, was open in front of the net and took a good shot, just, just a little bit wide. Got number 32, Pierce Duncan, working on Dolesky, who does a good job of staying in front. 22 open up top. He's going to drive in, takes Ooh. a shot, no good again. And they're going to give it to Holliston again. Coach Moon is yelling at somebody. He wasn't happy about that defensive possession, and he's not going to be happy shot. about this one either. That was not a great look right there for the Warriors. Two, the guy with the ball was uncovered, and the guy in front of the net was uncovered. So definitely some confusion there. I think number 22, Harrison Smith, netted that goal, giving the Holliston Panthers their first goal of the game, cutting the deficit to five. You're going to see this little yeah, shot, so. dinks it in front. Poop, and wow, walloped by James Gaffney, I believe. He took a shot, and that's not going to feel good tomorrow. All right. Um, Foxborough was going to tighten up the D here. As fan section's getting into it. Ball is down, sliding Foley's down. Foley's ground. taking a tumble. Sullivan wants the ball, kind of corrals it. Try, about to get, trying to get pushed out of bounds. Another timeout for Coach Noon. Great timeout use. You know, he was trying to fight. They're trying to push him out. You didn't think he didn't want to get stepped out? Yeah. Boom. <clears throat> I don't think Coach, <coughs> Coach Noon probably liked the way that that uh, defensive possession occurred for that first goal for Holliston. So. The Warriors near perfect on defense in the first one. Well, yeah, technically absolutely. Technically perfect with Holden. And I think Adesh is going to come in trying to grab a water. Yeah, so I think um, kind of reset things. Fox was in a little bit of trouble um, trying to get the ball into the offensive zone. So, like you said, good timeout. Um, Coach Noon, as you can see, is, is focusing a lot of his conversations right now to the defense. I think he's going to make a few adjustments based on that, that goal that they just let up. As you said, they did a great job in the first quarter. Um, Halston's a good team. They played at a, a, the Tri-Valley League is a, is a good league. Um, they have talented kids, so just because Foxborough is up six nothing, you know, six nothing lead in, in lacrosse can go go quickly. So the Warriors need to button down. I'm sure Hallison's going to do everything they can to get back. Tony Solomon's going to start this possession off with up top and around the 45 yard line as he's going to play it. Still, Lincoln Moore has yet to be taken out. I'm shocked they're he's got ready full thrust back into the game. He's going to fling it over to the, speaking of the devil, he's going to fling it over to Sacchetti, and Sacchetti's going to give it to Carter. Carter getting manned up by number seven. And then Carter flings it to Foley, round the world, all the way to Solom. Then to the star. So Halston's playing man-to-man -man, man -man defense here. 
the Warriors are just playing with them, just playing a round of passes around the world in 80 days and around the world again as it's almost back to the top again fully. So by doing this, Holy. you know, quickly getting the ball around Carter, they, you know, Foxborough can, I think, try to create some matchups, and there That's goes Selim. That's what Selim. they do. Nets it. Oh, my goodness. That went in. Wow. 33. Not happy with himself. Oh, Almost like a hole in a stick. That. So that's a first first goal of the game for Selim. We're going to see the replay most likely right about oh, an assist. Who got the assist? I Selim has an assist, but I didn't. I, I think I think it was either Foley or Carter that passed I, it. To I him think it might top. have been too far. It was like five seconds after. I don't know if it's still. I don't know how assists work. So yeah. I don't know if it's how similar it is to basketball. We, 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 we get we get generous with the assists. <laughs> I'm not going to give an assist on that one. I think it might, it might have been Foley, but well. we're going to see Tony fling it. Oh, the goalie had it and just slipped through. Hits the back of his foot. He was not happy. 7-1. Not many people would be as Dolesky fighting for the face-off. Going to be won by number six. That's Bosch. Bosch has been doing a good job. Second at the end of the first quarter and second quarter here. Bosch Michael is Gonzalez is going to fling it over to 22, who ended the first goal, Harrison Smith. All right. So. Number nine to 19. Lucas Haynes, number nine. 20. Alex Roby, number 19. At 23, who's going to give it to 17. Michael no, 32. Gonzalez. Gonzalez drives, drives, down a dash. Has oh, it now. Oh, it. my wow. goodness. All right, he's got to get rid of that ball because I think he, he, he checked, and I think Collison's going to want a little bit of a wrench as Noon has it, has it back. All right. Foxborough has time to settle if they want to. A dash and play. Do. So a lot of big hits on the Warriors we've seen. Lincoln Moore had one on the sideline on the goal. Hollison scored. James Gaffney put a kid on his bottom. Tony's got someone behind him. Oh, makes the kid lose his glove. Tony's probably talking. All right. So Foxborough will get set up here. Gaffney. Good I mean, job. So Sketty, the noon, to Carter, who drives, gets hit, has the ball back. To sell him. Foxborough once, you know, when they get double, double, triple teams, they're doing a pretty good job of getting rid of it. That time yeah. Carter got caught up a little bit. Noon. Gets it to noon. noon. He's, gonna go back. He's playing with it. Oh! oh my god. Would you look at the time? It's oh noon my god. with a second goal. Was he even looking? What? We gotta see the replay on that one. That was insane. Was Connor looking? Noon. I thought he was gonna roll back to his left, which is his normal. So this this shot is off of his off side. <laughs> he oh wasn't even God. looking. So he looks to his. I think he looks back to his left and then throws it the other way. He's looking at his teammate. Oh Bam. my! Well, that's just unbelievable. That's ridiculous. I don't know if you can call that skill or sometimes it has to be luck a that little. That is skill. That kid's had a stick in his hand since he was six months old. <laughs> Came out the womb. The worst, the, the crazy thing about that is is what Connor did by, by throwing that. He used the defender as a shield, so the goalie didn't even see it. The goalie had no idea where the ball was. He got, he got played like a fiddle. Unbelievable. No one's going to get goal. Noon's on the sideline with a water. <laughs> <laughs> Warriors lead eight to one with seven. I think he did. 35 and a goal. That's Smith. Oh no, it went up the oh side of the God. net. Side of the net. And he's gonna fling it up to a wide open Sullivan. Can't haul it in. Knocks it out. Sullivan scooped up by Lincoln. Lincoln! Sullivan! No! He heard what I said earlier and got a goal! Oh! Lincoln Moore, goalie leaves the net. I just yelled really loud. I didn't realize how loud that was. Lincoln so, Moore with yeah. a deck. That yeah. was very unprofessional. So the, um, that was, uh, I don't, I, I don't, he got two penalties there, I believe. I think. So he's going to, I think he's going to have two minutes locked in here. Lincoln Moore playing like a linebacker. Boom. So he's, there's head-to-head -head contact there. So um, so that's, um, you know, yeah, he got, he got two in there. So I think Lincoln's going to be locked in in the, uh, in in the, the penalty box for, box for two minutes. So, um, 
you know, with an 8-1 lead, just got to be careful. Don't want to don't want to do something where we help Paulson get back in the game. I don't think he'll be able to get out of the box with goal potentially. No. Locked in. He's he's locked in for two minutes, I think. Uh, so that penalty is just over seven minutes. So Paulson's gonna have a chance to get back in this game here. So that's gonna take a shot. shot. Okay. I think that was number twenty. Was it number, number nine? Number nine. Lucas Haynes, mid midfielder. We got number 17, Michael Gonzalez to number 28. He's got a long stick, which is interesting. He's a shot, no good. You don't typically see a long stick on uh, on a man up situation. Foxborough was two man down for th for 30 seconds there. Now now they now they're only one down. So I'm not sure. I'm not 100% um, sure I'm up, up with the penalty on all the rules here, but it's going to take a shot, no good. That Falls out of his stick. I think Stapleton knocked it out. 30 second penalty where Foxborough had it. Two man. Looks like Lincoln Morrison ready to go back into the game. He has his helmet back on. So the, the penalty happened um, with just over seven minutes left. So I think it's still two minutes. I think it was, it looks like it's a two minute locked in penalty with an additional 30 seconds, which. That's a lot of penalties. Um, so a dash to Cotter, to Gene. And Foxborough loses the ball. Good job by Holliston. Lincoln Moore looks to re-enter the game, fixing his glove. Yeah, he's still, he's still got another 45, at least 45 seconds to a minute before he can get back in. As we can see, though, he looks like he's getting back to speed faster than I personally thought he would have already causing major penalties as going to be a far wide Ooh, shot. What? How did they give that? that it was, I think it was definitely a shot. I think it was a very That was a shot, one. but it, I think Adesh beat him to the spot there. So um, so here we go. Paulson still a man up. 6v5 six, six for about 30 more seconds. Takes a shot. Good shot by good. The Gene and... Uh, and Gaffney, and then good job by S good scoop. Hit in the head. Oh, I think Gaffney hit, hit him in the head. No, off oh. Sullivan. The Warriors are getting a little bit uh, feisty, to say the least. Yeah. So when you know when 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 you start kind of slashing in those, we uh, see a little bit of a replay right here. So Gaffney has it, and then he gets a little push. And then Sullivan, I don't know what he was doing. That's a, just a just a slash for for no reason. Um, just kind of standing there. So excited. Again, we gotta be a little bit um, use our heads a little bit. I think maybe the heat is affecting. Oh, no good. It's gonna so be a pass. That's a pass. That's Foxborough ball. So I think Sullivan. I don't know if Sullivan's gonna be out for a minute or. I don't minutes. think it was intentional. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, it's, it's Lincoln not. almost back in the game. Yeah, he's back. He'll be back at uh, oh, two men down. I think five. A little under five minutes. He should come back. So. Oh, I think he there he goes now. Yep. So he's back in. So Fox will be a man down for another 45 seconds. So the problem with the penalties, Carter, is that it just kills the momentum, right? I mean, Fox is just on their back feet right now. Just got to be smart. 8-1 lead, fine. But, um, you know, in tournament play, you got to make sure that you stay out of the out of the, out of of the the penalty box, these man-up situations. Even with, they are still playing some lockdown defense. Good job by Gaffney there, who plays it Adesh over to picks it Adesh, off. to Foley. Foley loses it. Foley down. To Carter with the long stick, which is not his normal Stick. They're off sides. They're off sides. They're going to call it. Very late call, but the right call. So Hollison goes off sides. 4.20 left. Off Sacchetti's foot. And they are there. even. Yes. Even. Some Good save by a dash. Oh my god. What is happening? The Warriors think they're playing football by the looks Foxborough's of it. Just gotta be, this is this is getting a little bit out of hand right now. Um, they just got to be smarter. I mean, there's no re no We're reason to be. see the replay. Gaffney. I think Gaffney was the one who hit him, correct? Uh, he, mm, yep. Gaffney. 
Gaffney with a little help from Foley. Gaffney and Foley. I don't know who got the penalty, but Gaff did, I think. Yeah, Gaffney did. All right, so again, Foxborough just playing defense now because they continue to get themselves in the penalty box. Um, How do you think Noon's feeling about all these penalties? Not good. I, you know, coaches, when your team is, we're basically you have put ourselves at a disadvantage for the last. Uh, to, to, you know, pass it down to X. Almost, it's been almost three, three and a half, four minutes where, where Foxborough has been at a disadvantage. So co no coach likes to be put in a disadvantage. So I'm sure that's going to be an area of, uh, of emphasis uh, for Coach Noon and Coach Keefe at the half. So here goes Cotter. Another, oh, D twig. Cotter loses his stick. He's going to pick it up. 23 oh, to, so oh, no, he drops it. Number mm. five. Oh, boy. Scoops Robert it Cawley. back to Adesh, who yeah. goes to Sullivan. Lincoln tiptoeing across the midline. So Foxborough is going to try to just probably run out this penalty here because there's still a man down for. No, I think they're good now. No, we only got two back, so still five against six right now. So Foxborough is just going to hold it until they can get back to regular speed so that that penalty is finally up. Here comes Dele Deleski and we are even. For now, hopefully this, yeah. hopefully. There's a difference between playing aggressive than playing dirty. Three of those penalties, kind of back to back to back. You don't want that. You don't want to be the dirty team. You want to be the clean team who makes good plays. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just like case driving. Oh, good shot, just a little bit low. Good save by uh, by 33, Sean McLeod, the goalie. He's a s junior for Holliston. Through all that uh, event, still eight to one. Yeah, no. Uh, the Warriors' defense has been so incredible. Calls timeout. Yeah, so Foxborough um, survives there. Almost five minutes worth of penalties without any giving up any goals. So early in the second quarter, Carter, um, little defensive breakdown. Halston scores, Foxborough calls timeout. Seems like they got things kind of squared away. And, um, and, you know, back to where they were in the first quarter. And then they just kind of did a good job battling on the, um, on the, the penalty, the man down situations. If I had to guess what Coach Noon was saying to his team right now, it's probably you're up by seven goals. Keep, Keep your feet on the ground. Keep your head. Yeah, stay away from those. You know, anytime, even sometimes, Carter, when there's a, a, a clean, aggressive hit, if it's up by the shoulders or the head, they're really trying to take that stuff out of, you know, the concussion-like hits. Football and, and lacrosse, you know, anything up near the shoulders or the head, that they're almost always going to call a penalty on that. So... Warriors just have to be careful of, of that. Um, the other thing they have to be careful of is in si situations like this, you start getting those hits up high and you can get thrown out of the game. You get thrown out of today's game. If they win, they go to the next game. You're out for the next game. So keep your heads, play smart. Um, I think Parker was in a really strong position, like you were saying, eight to one lead. Um, it would be um, nice maybe to get another goal or two. As we have 2.15 to go in the second in the first half, I'm still stunned. Stunned. Five minutes of penalties, and not one goal allowed. Oh, no. That's Great incredible. Great job by the, by the defense. For I sure. think everyone's been incredible. Stapleton, Gaffney, Sullivan having a great game. Yep. Gene. Gene's been very good. Yep. And that's the one thing I'm also going to. We mentioned earlier how the midlines are also getting more depth. So in the defense, Stapleton has not moved positions, and he's what we call the Swiss Army knife here in Foxborough. Yep. Yep. He's played he, every position. Finn's been very solid today on D. Kind of, he's the leader back there when he's playing. He's the captain for the reason. He has a C on his jersey for a reason. Yeah. Hypothetical C. So good job by Stapleton. It's going to drive him down. Up. Speak of the devil. Stapleton giving him pressure. Swings it up. No good. It's a good job by Michael Shot. Gonzalez from Boston. I don't know. I think Gene might have beaten out with the stick. Yeah. That's close. So 17 did a good job. Uh, one of the things that happens on the turf when it gets hot like this is you start to see kids slip. So you saw Gonzalez slip a little bit there, but he uh, held on to the ball. So with Jack McElliott with the ball for Holliston, being covered by Ian Foley. 
goal. He's going to try to send it to his left. Oh, a nice pass. Brings it up. Good goal. Lucas, Number nine. Lucas Hans. Holliston nets their second goal of the game, cutting the Warriors' lead to six with a minute 13, right. with a minute 33 to go in the half. Where's the replay? Number 23, we've mentioned his name a lot. Jack, Jack McElliott flings it. Point blank shot. Good. So we are in, it looks like the trainer just came on the field and called for a water break. So with 133 left, we're gonna have uh, a little bit of an extended break here. Um, players reluctantly walking off the field, it looks like. Well, they, I don't think they want to take a water break. I think they just want to close this out. Sure. It's, um, I, I, you're, uh, you have to live by the clock when the, when the, when the temperature's above this temperature. So um, I think ideally both teams would probably like to just play the last minute, 30 seconds here and, and then get into uh Lincoln Moore taking a walk along with Stapleton. They're kind of just trying to breathe, you know. A lot of these, it's not like football, we have the big helm, we have like the big helmets and the bigger pads, but you still, a lot of equipment. Yeah, Foxborough um, has a little bit of an advantage over over Holliston with the white uniforms. Are they going to the bathroom? They probably are, yeah. I mean, they've been they've been hydrating, so. Um, so they're gonna take a, they're actually leaving the field. I didn't think they would leave the field. I don't know what's going on here. Did someone see lightning? So, yeah, we're uh, we're gonna take a break here. We're we're in a weather delay. Uh, Fox is up eight two, one thirty three left in the first half, and um, we'll be back hopefully when the weather passes. All right, we'll see you then. We are back uh, to the Foxborough MIAA Division Three lacrosse game with uh, Foxborough Warriors hosting the number 14 Warriors hosting the number 19 Holliston Panthers. So we s uh, this is the to be continued portion. I'm Donnie Carter and I'm Thank here you. with Carter Daly. So did they just call a timeout? <laughs> I think Sto uh, Holliston just got the ball and called a timeout. So we're about 25 seconds in here. Much needed break. Yeah. So uh, if you're just joining us, this is the, as I had mentioned, the to be continued portion. We played just about a half on Friday night, and Foxborough got out to a 8-2 to two lead, and then thunderstorms rolled in. The game was suspended. So we pick it up with 133 left in the second quarter. So... Uh, Foxborough had the ball, quick turnover to Holliston, and then they called a timeout. So, uh, like I said, I'm here with Carter Daly. What's going on? Welcome, Carter. We're uh, ready to hopefully see a great half of lacrosse. Hopefully we can finish this one. Yep. Maybe we'll see you on next Friday. Who knows? But I weather looks to be clearing up. It wasn't raining for a little. Uh, it's starting to look good, so let's hope it yeah, stays that way. Looks, it was about a half hour ago. It was downpouring, and now it's uh, – Looks like it stops, so so we're good to go. And Holliston gets a time gets a timeout coming back in. Jack McElliott with the ball, and Foxborough is in a zone defense to start here. Over to 17. That's Michael Gonzalez for Holliston. 32 is Pierce Duncan. That was 22. Harrison Smith. Back. So Holliston trying to keep possession here. About 50 seconds left. We got a couple cutters going through. A shot, good. And there's McElliott. That was 23. McElliott with his first goal of the game. So Hall Holliston the replay real quick. Yeah. So uh, you know Foxborough playing their zone. They seem to be a little late on that, um, right through the five hole. So, Holliston draws first blood. You'd think 
Um, Hollison would be motivated here. You know, they, they got behind Carter in the, in the first half of the game to start this, this, uh, this game that's been continued today. So, um, as a there little is a bit ball wide, down. Foley's going to pick Good it job up. by Ian Foley. Ball down. And recovered by McElliott. Foley knocks it out, and it's going to go out of bounds. That should be white ball. Why is that red? He fully hit it, his stick. Should have gone out of and Hollison's stick. They're going to give, right, they give it to him. Yeah, the ref initially said red ball, and then he changed it to direct the right call, which is white. So Foxborough has possession. Good job by Ian Foley on the stick check there. 20.8 seconds with John Cicchetti taking the ball. They're probably just going to try and get a quick shot for whatever we're going to call this halftime. And Cicchetti's going to shoot. No good. Now, one thing we have to mention again is that this is technically Lincoln's first game back from his knee injury as he's back in the game. Has yep. really played it all, and that's going to be the end of the half. All right, so that's the end of the half. The question that we had when we got on here into the press box was well, how will they treat this and I believe I hope is that they will just treat this like a, an in-between period so it'll be a minute or two as opposed to a 10 minute halftime um, but we will see I'm assuming it doesn't look like they're going far so the, um, the clock at halftime usually they go 10 minutes to show, yeah. So I think we're just gonna have an in-between quarter break here, which is good. Let's get going. So I think uh, Halson, I feel like came out with a little bit more energy than Foxborough to start. So um, hopefully that goal that Foxborough gave up will wake them up a little bit. And um, still a five-goal lead, but uh, five-goal leads in, in lacrosse can go away quick, right, Carter? Exactly. You know. Holliston, they came out. They're 40 minutes away, I'm assuming. 40 minutes from here? Yeah, about that. 35, 40 You have minutes. to go 35 to 40 minutes. You're down 8 to 2, and then you got to go all the way back just to come back here on Monday. No one wants to really do that. You're going to yeah. come back. You're going to come all the way back here. You're going to show You're gonna show a little more fight than you had on Friday. So yep. as we are going to see yep. what we guessed, halftime over, the fastest halftime in playoff across history for the Warriors, <laughs> I'm assuming. Yep. So we got um, Tony Sellum on the draw. He did a good job on Friday night on, on some of the draws. And then looks like number, is that 15 or 25? I think it's 15. Number yeah, 15, 15. Kevin Sahagian. So Sahagian in red, Sullum in white. And we'll get the second half started. 8-3 Foxborough. And Tony. Good battle there, Sahagian. And, and it's going to be scooped up by Carter. He's got possession. And He's got somebody behind his middies him. are going to be him and Selham as Sullivan's going to come out and then comes in fully to take the midi position. And Sullivan will go get his regular stick, switching out his face-off stick. And Lincoln Moore will go to X, then to John Sacchetti, and Foxborough will get set up on offense here. Back out to Foley. And Foley's just going to try and hit Carter. He does. So Halston is playing man-to-man -man D. Different, little different look than Foxborough's defense in the zone. Sacchetti to from the X from noon. There's not many times where you enter an 82 game and even momentum, because well you haven't played since Friday. It's, right. it's technically zero zero for the day, so you're just trying to see who can get momentum early. They scored early, but the shot there, no good. Noon shot by scoop Potter, it. good. Good job by Noon getting that from X to Sullum. Ooh, shot, good save. No good. That's a good save by Sean McLeod. That's the junior goaltender for Holliston. See if Foxborough can get some pressure on this clear here. They did a good job on Friday. 33, uh, McLeod going to take it up. Oh, there's a ball Ball's down. down. Foley. Foley. He, they get a fast break opportunity here if they want it, but they'll take possession and they will get their offense set up. All right. So that was He's a good job. Foxborough so lost possession. They did a good job of, of finding their guys and uh, ball was down. Good job by Foley scooping. And here comes Sicchetti. Sicchetti. Doubled up. Good job of just being patient here. Not no need to, to rush. Not trying to force anything. Yep. 
He's going to fling it back up to Carter, who stands around the 40-yard line. So the attack line for Foxborough right now is Lincoln Moore, John Cicchetti, and Connor Noon. And they call the moving pick there on Lincoln. He just moved a little bit right at the end. You can't move on that. His arm got like a little chicken wing out there. So Harrison Smith ball down. They cannot passes cannot be completed at the moment. Ball still down. And Good job. Foley's and Foley recover. doing a great job on the loose balls to start this second part of the game. That number nine just swung kind of wildly and he didn't hit him. Um, Cotter so has it around the 41, 42 yard line. So Fo Foley. They're gonna wait for their subs to come in. Yep, Foley will go out for Waller. Moore is right on the sideline. So Foxborough will get their offense set up. Lincoln's getting pressured. Caleb Greenberg on Lincoln Moore. Lincoln shoots, Ooh. powerful, no good. Noon's there for the recovery. Good shot, good low shot, just missed. Here goes, here goes Noon. And he takes a shot, that Side one, that. no good shot. Okay, so we've got nine minutes left in the third quarter here. Fastball. Holliston. Tony trying to shove him out of bounds, cannot. That's Jack McElliott who's got the, the lone goal since we've restarted this at the end of the first half for Holliston. Good job of clearing that by Jack, getting it into the zone. And a touch for Holliston, so they'll get their offense set up now. So that's McElliott. Got the pass from Pierce. Looks like number he's, 10. He's going to drive it on Waller. I don't have a number him. 10 on the Holliston roster, so I don't know who that is. Fox are doing a good job. Little good activity. Looks like they're playing man. To, they switched out of the zone. Back to a man-to-man -man look. So this this is this is a good, good Takes help. Takes a shot, no good. A dash with the stop. <laughs> Ball's out. Um, I think, yeah, he, I think he touched that on the way out. Looks like James Gaffney, uh, if, as long as it's a shot, it doesn't matter. If yeah, no, I think he hit it after the fact, because the dash just picks it off. It, yeah, even if he hits it after the shot, it doesn't matter. If it goes out of bounds, it's still. And Sullivan's got wide open space. No one for got noon. 10 yards. Oh, hit great noon pick low. by noon. All right. Noon, ball down. Noon Takes a thought shot. about faking, taking a shot. But across, no. across the turf to McKate. It's Deleski. Deleski. He's short freshman. <laughs> so Deleski. As Foley's going to enter the game. Deleski, Tony's going to roll it over. Foley and Sullum. Midi line. And the attack line of Sicchetti, Noon, and more so Foxborough again being patient here like to see see them get a goal here Carter there was a um, couple good scoring opportunities but nothing nothing that's hit the back of the net yet so here comes noon working on number 24 for Hollis and Bobby Frasinelli Connor noon gonna dish it over to Deleski can't haul it in but Lincoln's there for the recovery good back up by Lincoln there He's gonna drive. He's gonna use his. He's gonna use some force to drive. And he's Wide got Dulesky. open. Dulesky. Ooh, Dulesky got caught up in the middle there. Picked Newman up by Noon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that would have been a highlight. Wow. That was. Uh, we already got one highlight shot from Nick Connor in this game. That would have been another one. Friday behind the back. Demon Lucas. But this time Soham to sell at him. the nice. net. Got it. Great job. Very easy for Soham. Great pass by Sicchetti. It was Sicchetti set him up one on one with the goal. Tony just hit him where you couldn't get to it. That's, that's really how lacrosse works. Yep, and the, you know the goalie had no chance on that. That's not you know it's kind of a Tony did a great Torres, job cutting to the net. Play right here. Yeah, so there goes Sicchetti. He draws a defender, and then Tony just that was Tony's defender, and he's he's wide open. McLeod bit. I mean sorry, McElliot bit on the. On Sicchetti, he's thinking he's going to take the shot, yep. which left Tony wide open on the crease. Good job. Good ball movement there by Foxborough. So Deleski Foxborough takes the lead. Deleski's going to take the face as this one's going to be recovered by number six, Benjamin, Benjamin Bosch. Bosch. So Bosch still has it. Trying to stop find. him. He's going to drive. He's going to fling it back up to number five. Robert Colley. All right, so Holliston wins the faceoff after giving up the goal and has possession here. Warriors again have a six-goal six, six goal lead. 9-3, Foxborough. 
Fox throws in a man-to-man -man and, and Holliston. off the stick. No good. Going to go out of bounds. So that's going to be a pass out of bounds for Holliston. Finn Stapleton. Going to give it to a dash. Quarterback of the Foxborough defense will get it going. Off to Carter. Carter will just use his speed to get a touch. Carter is going to try and find someone at X. Connor Noon is going to be there for the... And for the outlet. Foxborough subbing in. We got Mikey McCabe coming in as a midi. His first action of today's so portion of the game. McCabe and Foley and Cotter at the midi line. Same tack line. Foley's going to give it to McCabe, who's then going to give it to Lincoln. Lincoln's got eight yards of separation. Powers down. Mm -hmm. Takes a oh. shot. No good. And no, I think Austin won that. Yep. I think Noon could have got there. Yeah, I, I don't think he saw the shot initially, and 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 Halston did. So, so Halston gets there, gets a, gets the ball off the shot. Good hustle by Halston there. They're gonna let their goalie have a little bit of space. Some Starting cloud to close. is short. Cotter. Ooh, good spin by 22. Harrison Smith. Bounce shot. No nice good. job a by Adesh. She's got a couple guys out ahead. He's Cotter got and Cotter Sullivan. With the catch. There goes Cotter. Gets an offensive possession here. And D Twig. What's he yelling about? I don't know what Cotter's yelling about. I think he got hit in the face. I think he wanted the call. <laughs> All He's right. still talking to the ref, I think. Well, he needs to get off the field. So Foxborough is He had an open shot, but the pass is gonna be no good. Harrison Smith recovers, whistle blows. And I don't know why there was a whistle there. I don't think he knows either. All He's right, gonna play so we got 4.15 left in the third quarter. It's Foxborough with a 9-3 lead, playing man-to-man -man D. Having a little bit of a hard time seeing the, that's number five, Robert Cauley, and he loses it. And that'll, James Gaffney will take control. And oof, oof. just got that to Finn Stapleton. That would that got me a little nervous, but he got he got it there. Gives it to Dolesky. Dolesky is gonna get the ball in the offensive zone. There's why is there's eight. Foley could have gone, he is gonna go now. It's, Wait, he's confused. It's okay. We have we're we're missing a guy. I think Foxborough is missing one, so there goes Foley. He will correct Carter. Just to review the goals we've scored, we have a goal from Cam Dolesky, two from Tony Sullivan, who also has an assist, two from Connor Noon with an assist, and three for John Sacchetti with an assist. And, of course, Lincoln Moore scores his first of the season in his first game back since really last season. So Foxborough has possession. Sacchetti brought it all the way from X. Up to the top, out to the 35-yard line, and here goes Noon. Spins inside. Noon spins a back. Guys. There's Flags a down. On it's going to be on 10. Yeah, it's going to be on a, uh, red. A little slash on the head there. So I think that's number nine that got it. Number nine, he's coming. 24 is also coming out, so it's going to be probably one of them. We're going to see the replay here. So Noon does a good job getting off the hit. Right there, I thought he got him. 24. Yeah. Yeah, there it again. is. Yeah, 24 is going off. So that's uh, Bobby Frasinelli. He's been primarily covering Connor Noon, done a pretty good job, good def good solid defender. But Foxville will be a man up for a minute. So we got a goal here would be very, very huge. Connor Noon at the X. Someone's got to replace him back there. Uh, Sullivan's going to take it. Oh, Noon. Ball, ball, ball falls out. Lincoln Powers. Oh, save. Good save. Good save. In his shirt. He's got a couple tricks up his sleeve, including a ball. <laughs> oh, it's stuck in his helmet. Wait, what? Yeah, it was like under his, uh, they, they wear that chin strap to protect their neck. Hopefully There's like a little plastic strap. It hopefully like didn't him in the caught. face. Ball oh, down. down. Selham oh, wow. scoops. Great, job Great by scoop Tony. by Tony. Oh, Lincoln, Lincoln one on one. Oh. Bang! Wow. Lincoln's got another. Warriors get to double digits first as they have a seven goal lead. Lincoln Moore with a Tony Selham assist on a great scoop. That was a great, great play by Tony. Ball was down. The Halston player actually had good position to regain that, and Tony just came in. We're gonna see the replay. Him. Tony. So he'd already gotten the scoop wide there. open after the scoop. Gives it to Lincoln, and it's just one on one. Power. Great bang. Job. And here comes the rain. 
sign of things to come for, for mm -hmm. Holliston. We'll see as they're going to win the faceoff. Number Bosch. six to five. No oh. good. Oh. oh, wow. Was that a shot or a pass? No matter yeah. how it was, 12 had a great recovery on it. That was number 17. Bosch Michael is going to come out. And he had a wide open net there that he just missed. That was a great job by Bosch winning the face off. And he got it. Jack know. Sullivan going to run up the sideline. No one's going to cover him. Wait, I thought he had the ball. No. Nope. Dash, but Dash now has he it. has the ball. That was a really good play by Tony Hollison. wants it. Tony's got it. One hand catch. He unfortunately couldn't cash in on it. But Foxborough gets, after they missed the shot, Foxborough, I think it was uh, James Gaffney, was behind the. Behind the net, so Foxborough keeps possess possession here. 140 left in the third quarter. Foxborough up by seven with a 10 to three score. So Keddy to noon. Does he have a new stick? I feel like that's a darker head than mm -hmm. usual. He's gonna swim over. Still has the ball. He tries to go behind the back, but too many too many red jerseys there to get that one through for noon. So the ball is Dulesky down needs to get for a there, second. Dulesky does a good job of riding number 25, Jimmy Bardo, who did a good job of scooping that, getting the possession for Holliston. So Goal, goalie isn't that great of a passer, so I think leaving him open is the right idea, especially with the rain falling. The ball's going to be more slippery. I think the Warriors need to hop on more advantage of like, like they did with Tony Scoop and Lincoln score. We got Jack McElliott for Holliston here working on Ian Foley. Good pass. Shoots, no good. He's oh, hit. Adesh Jay, has it. Jaden Jean got in front of that one. Adesh like using he... his wheels. <laughs> He's still going. Gives it to Moore. Moore's still running back to the 40. 35, 30. Looks like Jaden Jean on the D, the D pole. Got the. He got the. Uh, excuse me. Kenny sits at X. <laughs> Bless you. Jay got a. Uh, he got in front of that shot so shoots to oh, Keddy four Kedi. goals for him today one well, one today four goals in this game wow great shot by Sakedi Sakedi as we're going to see the replay in a couple seconds Sakedi notches his fourth goal of the game along with an assist we're going to see the replay right here Sakedi just runs around he gets hit and he just says does a good job of re spin oh, wow someone get someone get the swiffer <laughs> Boom, goal. Did a really good job of keeping his feet there. The the defender from Hollison was riding him pretty good, and he just slipped a little bit, kept his feet, and here we're back to the face-off. The Lesky battling with... No one can scoop it. Sullivan fighting him. And who's got it? Hollison's got it, number 15. That's a good job. Kevin Kevin's Sahagian, that was a good job by him. He ball loses down. it, and the ball is down. 11-3, Warriors lead. Scooped at the end there by senior Peter Sweden. Sweden. And Swiden. Pete um, will end the third quarter. So Fox goes up by 8, 11 to 3, in control. We get some. Uh, the rain is coming. Some, some rain. And um, yeah, things are. Things are looking good. So Foxborough, if they win, will play the winner of Newburyport and Ashland, who are actually playing right now. I was actually going to look it up to see who they were playing, uh, if there was any updates on the score. Um, so Fox goes up by eight. And um, again, I was looking to see if there was any Newburyport updates here, Carter, on Twitter. Newburyport is the number three seed, and they're playing Ashland, who I believe is the 29th seed. They had a play-in game, and the Ashland beat uh, Ashland beat Southeastern, I believe. So. End of the first quarter, Newburyport was up five to one. That was an hour ago. Yeah, so I don't know if there's any updates on that. Looks like Newburyport won 10 to four. So if Foxborough wins, they'll be heading up to Newburyport. Today's Monday, I would think that the game would be a Thursday, Thursday or Friday of this week. Um, 
So a little bit of travel, but still a full quarter to get through here. So we got uh, Bosch and Selim on the on the draw here. This ball's still down. Ball's Rain's starting to come out a little harder now. Ball's all the way out Good of bounds. Good job by Sullivan. Sullivan's got it. Sullivan. And he's got the ball. And he's going to try to get that to Sacchetti, who overshoots it a little bit. So Hollison will get possession there with the rain still coming down. This game just doesn't want to have normal weather conditions, Carter. No, it does not. They're going to make both these teams, Mother Nature is not happy with this game. <laughs> Michael Gonzalez for Halston. Thankfully, she's a Warrior fan as she's helped us with Eclipse, the 11-3 lead with 11-21 to go in the last game. for Halston. So... Halston um, certainly needs to play with a little bit of urgency here. He's going to take the take Lucas hands. Oh. Takes a shot. Hit off of Jaden Jean. Recovered by Smith, I believe. So you got oh. Ian Williamson as a defensive midi playing on the ball here against uh, number 19, Alex Roby. So Halston doing a good job of keeping possession here. Spins shot, no good. Uh, and a shot by number nine. It's going to stay this Keynes. Holliston. 17, Michael Gonzalez to 22, 22 Smith. Shot by nine. No good. Two shots in a row for Haynes. So just, just a little bit wide. JG will. So Foxborough had that backed up. So it'll be Foxborough ball here. 10.38 left in the game. And Adam Adesh will clear it to Foley. Foley's got some room to run. He's Ball down. It. Sullivan trying to keep possession. Cannot. So Halston gets a little opportunity for a fast break. And no they good. miss it. Did not have it. Good job. Good hustle by Waller and Stapleton. Foxborough will get possession. There goes Stapleton. Stapleton's going to fire. Ties it to Foley. Foley's going to deep down. He's got Waller. Waller does a good job. Using his wheels, and Foxborough gets a touch. Waller to Noon. Looks like Selim's coming in. We only have three midi, two midi, so Selim's coming in. Here comes Selim. So midi line of Selim, Waller, and Daleski. Here goes John Sacchetti on the left side. I think Foxborough will be patient here, rightfully so. No need to rush into anything. I think Halston's going to have to push their defense out and try to create some turnovers here, Carter. Exactly. You know, you're down by eight goals with 9.22 to go. You just got to find something quick and easy so you don't get romped, especially when your season's on the line. So Lincoln Moore working from X. Again, Foxborough is not in any rush here. Dolesky has it up top. He's going to give it to Waller. They're just trying to milk some clock right here. Yep. To, to, oh my God, Sacchetti. My brain was not braining. Up to Dolesky. He's going to give it to Soham. Generally, it happens in a circumstance like this, Carter, is um, the team on defense will push, you know, maybe double team or push their, uh, push their goalie out to try to create some urgency and, and like I'm gonna spin over up to noon that was a shot so Lincoln Moore tries a one-handed shot there I don't think his intention was shot I think he was actually trying to give it to noon it just so happened to look like a shot there's not enough I don't think there's enough force for that to be a Lincoln Moore shot yeah I think I think actually Halston did a pretty good job of getting getting the stick and in, in bothering that one a little bit so here goes Dolesky so they give it to Soham Selham drops it. Dolesky spins around. Good job by Dolesky there. And this time Tony has it. Up to Waller. Swims. Oh, good job by Waller to get it over to Sacchetti. And Foxborough at 7.55 in no rush to do anything here offensively. A little bit of a spin. Gives it inside. Dulesky. No good. Noon's going to be there for the recovery. So Foxborough, one of the things that Foxborough struggled a little bit with this year in some of the games that they haven't had as much success in is loose balls. And today, there's, there's, I think they've done 
a phenomenal job tonight I, and Friday night. I agree, especially with the weather, especially today, the weather. You know, these balls are going to be way more slippery than usual. Yep. Which kind of gives you an advantage because you, you're both playing with the you're both playing with the wet ball. Yep. They just have better they just have better opportunities. Flings it more, no good. New Connor Noon's gonna be there for back. This has been like a three minute possession, it seems like, for the Warriors. Yeah. I think I think Foxborough got it with just under nine minutes left and there's almost seven minutes, so it's been a good two or more than two minute possession here. It goes to Ketty. And he's gonna take a shot. No oh, good save. save by thirty three. Sean McLeod. He goes yeah. Frasinelli. He's gonna give it to Do oh, Doleski's there to interrupt. Number five, Robert seventeen. Collie. Uh, Michael Gonzalez. It's a good job by Stoughton get the ball back there, and uh, they're gonna have to. Haynes get moving here. Probably take a shot pretty quickly here to try to get uh, get that lead shrunk down. They're being way too pass heavy right now, especially with the limited time. As ten's gonna drive. Take the shot, no good. But number 36, Jack Underwood is there. It's a good job by Finn recover. Stapleton, G uh, James Gaffney, and Ryan Cotter. It was obvious that number 10 was going to take a shot there, and they, they got they got their sticks in the way. So was able to keep that one off the net. There's Stapleton. I don't agree with what Hollison's doing right now. They're, they're being way too lean with the clock, because that one's going to be no good. Jack yeah. Sullivan. He, he tries to hop in front of him. Oh, he lost it. It's all right. I feel like Hollison's being way too lenient with the clock. Yeah, so, it, you know, there's a fine line. You, you got you to gotta score, but you also got to be, you know, you got to get a good look. And I, I think they're, they're definitely waiting for the good look, but the challenge with that is the clock is their enemy right now. So, um, so I'm sure Foxborough is happy to let, let Hollison, you know, pass fine. it around. There goes the next shot by number number ten again. I think it was. We don't have a name for him. We do not have a name for him on the roster. Oh, good good interception by Adesh. Adam Adesh. And never mind. They're gonna give it to Halston. I think he left the crease and then went back in, which he's not allowed to do once he gets the ball. I, I believe that's what happened. Um, Gonzalez is going to have it at the back pylon. That's okay. Still a good job by, by Adesh, uh, it, you know, kind of interrupting the flow that they had there. So they got to reset, and Foxborough can reset their defense. We got Lucas Haynes here. He's going to take a shot. shot. This score. one's good. Haynes finally finds the net today. It's his second goal. I remember he scored at the right at the um, right before the thunder thunder and lightning rolled in on uh, Friday on Friday night. night. He got a he, I think he got a pass from McElliot right in front. So um, that's where I see the replay from Haynes' second goal here. He's gonna drive in on Cam Dolesky. Dolesky giving him a little pattern. Cotter closes in. Just a great shot by Haynes. Yep. To uh, Give him a little bit of life here with him with five minutes to go. 11-4, Warriors lead. We got Bosch and Sullum on the draw here. Bosch for Hollison, Sullum for Foxborough. As yeah, Tony go. with a good job, and Foley's gonna recover. Foley with a great nonchalant scoop there, <laughs> and he's gonna get that into the offensive zone. As they're gonna play a little bit more press here. Yeah, you can see. Uh, Looks like Hollison was playing with a little bit more aggression and urgency, urgency, but now they're not. So here goes Lincoln. And he's going to give it to New to be off his chest, I believe. So just under four minutes and 30 seconds to go in the game here. Looks like a, uh, a matchup between Foxborough and Newburyport is bound. It's pretty, pretty close to sign, sealed, and delivered at this point. So Newburyport's a team that, you know, what, what Foxborough won't have much familiarity with. They play, obviously, in the in the North Shore. Um, so they are the number three seed. As Tony's going to spin down, and he's going to rock it. Bang! Ooh. Number three, oh. Sulham. Tony with a hat trick. The second Warrior with a hat trick, joining Sacchetti, who has four goals in this game. 
gives him a little point to the stands as he walks off the field. So if there was any doubt, I don't believe there is any now. Uh, 12 to 4. As Hassan is trying to poke out a little. So Selim does a good job of rolling off the defender. He's got plenty of room to shoot. Bang. Great low shot. Low left side. And we have Galeski. Is it safe for us to start talking about Newburyport? I think it is. So you get Dulesky with the with the face off win against Sahagian for Hollison, and Dulesky will use his speed to get into the offensive zone. And he was thinking about going to the net, and then he thought better of it. And I think he's just trying to chew some clock and yep. give it back to Cotter. So Dulesky does a good job of winning the face off. 3:30 left in the game. The Warriors will be in Newburyport, so. By the looks of it, it seems like our time in the booth potentially could be over. I think for the for the distant future. <laughs> yeah, I assuming mean, but upsets do happen in the playoffs, so yep, we may mean, be back here someday. You never know. That's Carter's. My son's a junior, and you're a junior, so won't, probably won't be the last time we're together, Carter. All right? right. I hope not. <laughs> I think we're gonna sign you to a multi-year contract. We'll check with the check with the guys in the booth. But Foxburg Cable Access did follow me on Twitter, so. <laughs> oh, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Once you're in, you're in for life. Yeah. So you got Lincoln Moore, 240 left to go in the game. And Halston is waving the white flag here. They're not assuming anything. Number eight's going to give a little shove. Lincoln Moore. Probably wants to get a hat trick in his first game back, but he's just going to chew the clock a little bit more. Yep. Gives it to Sacchetti. Sacchetti getting pressured by 28. Uh, David Villa. Sacchetti back to Moore. He's going to give it to Cotter. You know, I, I got to say, Carter, I think this is uh, this is one of the better one of the better games I've seen. I, I think I've been to almost every game this year for Foxborough. Home and away. This is this is one of the better games I've seen. I've seen the boys play. Um, this so. is the most complete I think we've seen this team, and a lot of this has to do with the man driving on net right now, Lincoln sure. Moore. Yep. What Lincoln brings to the table is that not only is he a dominant force, but it also helps get some of the other players open. Now that Connor Connor Noon has some willpower next to him with Lincoln, so he's not really getting as looked at as oh, this is the only guy we need to stop. And Sacchetti. Also very dominant, yeah, especially noon. today. Noon Over behind back. the back, no good. <laughs> but more Looking for a couple, another highlight reel one. Um, so 1:30 left. As they're gonna try and just chew this clock. But back to what I was saying. Noon and of course Sakedi. Sakedi has done a lot, especially with the return of Lincoln Moore, four goals. You know Sakedi, a lot of teams' potential first option. In some cases, is the third attack on this team, especially with Noon and Lincoln. And it helps him get open more as they're trying to find every person on this field. Because I think every single attackman on, I mean, midi on this, uh, offensive player on this field is very dominant yes. with the ball in their hands. And just went under a minute. So Cotter has the ball against Kellen Dietz. Let's see. Kellen Dietz is a sophomore midfielder for Holliston. So Car Ryan Cotter will uh, look to get it to noon and just missed it in that ball. With 39.6 seconds left, we'll go to Holliston. This will likely be the last possession of the game here, Carter. Yeah, I could give Holliston a lot of credit. I mean, they're a team. They, they. I thought they played pretty solid the other night. Foxborough got off to a to a hot start, and um, you know they came out here at the beginning of the game. They scored the first goal. I'd be nervous uh, if I said when I saw them score that first goal if they were going to see if they're going to make it a game. And yeah. I think the Warriors also came out very dominant. Yep. You know they. Had a chance to lose a lot of momentum as Dulesky's just going to chew it out with 10 seconds to go. And that'll do it. Seven and that will most left. likely do it. Everyone's running away from him. Dulesky's going to chew it out, and that is it. Newberry Port will see you when it's time for the yeah. next, for the round of 16. So Foxborough, second time in uh, so consecutive years where, where they get a win in the round of, round of 32 last year. They made it to the round of eight, so they would have to uh, beat the three-seeded Newburyport. They would have to beat, beat Newburyport in order to do that again. Um, but again, you know, we had just just talked about it, Carter. 
Solid, solid uh, performance by the Warriors. Solid performance by Halston too. Again, give him credit. Came, worked hard. I think they thought their goalie made some good saves. Um, but I think Foxborough just just had a little bit too much firepower um, and and came out with the 12-4 victory. I think that they look I think Foxborough looked very good. And I think we mentioned earlier, one of their so-called weaknesses is ground balls, and they played very well, especially with the rainy weather. They got a lot of them down, which was huge, especially in some of those situations on face-offs and some of the wonky passes from the from the uh, Holliston group. Yep. And I think that keying in on that was huge for this team and was probably the biggest factor for this 12-4 victory. Yeah, so uh, the Warriors will be off to Newburyport. Um, just to round out some of the some of the scoring, as you'd mentioned, um, John Sacchetti leading the, leading the way with, with four goals and an assist. Tony Sullen with three and two assists. Connor Noon with two goals and an assist. And Lincoln Moore with two goals. And then Cam Dulesky rounding out the scoring. So solid effort all around. I'd be remiss to, you know, I thought uh, Adam Adesh had some nice saves. The defense was really solid, switching back and forth from, from uh, zone to man to man. And, um, you know, it was a really, really good job all around on the midi lines, defensive lines, and attack. I think this is the most complete this team has looked in a long time. You know, because a lot of the season they were mixing and matching players. Stapleton had played a lot of everywhere. And for him to stay at his normal position at a defensive defensive position, it was huge for this team, cause especially having Lincoln Moore back. Yep, and uh, lastly, I think want to just thank all the all the all the parent volunteers. Um, that today we had Tim Sullivan, Jeff Waller, Ed Sullum. I think Jeff Waller gets uh, MVP. I think he was the number one uh, camera volunteer for the for the season. So thanks so much, and um, obviously thank Foxborough Cable Access, uh, Mike Weber, Mike Weber, uh, Mike Everson. These guys do an amazing job. Um, we are very lucky as a community to have this as a resource. It's been a super, super busy week for those guys. <laughs> They've had uh, scholarship night. This has been senior week, so scholarship night for the seniors, uh, class night for the seniors. Graduation. Uh, graduation actually. on Sunday. They came out here Friday night. The game was postponed. Um, and then we continue tonight. And the girls, the Foxborough girls lacrosse team, will have a home game this week. We don't know when that is. Um, so good times at Foxborough, but major kudos and thanks to the guys at Foxborough Cable Access and to you, Carter, as a student stepping up to uh, call the games for your for your comrades on the on the on the on the field. So we appreciate that. It's been a blast, but let's not say goodbye yet. We never know. Yep. Newburyport. Yep. In the upcoming days, upsets happen. We may be back here. You never know. In the in the distant future, and even not, like you said earlier, I'm only a junior. Your son's only a junior. Yep. <laughs> maybe we'll maybe we'll be in the booth next year together. Yep. So that's a wrap from here. Foxborough with a 12 to 4 victory over Holliston. They will travel to Newburyport at some point this week. So thanks everybody for tuning in, and thanks Foxborough Cable Access for bringing the broadcast today. Thank you. Have a good night, guys.